Hello. Oh, that sounds a little weird. Hi guys, welcome to Green Lady Permaculture. My name is Sarah and today I'm going to show you what I do with the occasional kit that passes without me needing something for it. I don't like to use animals that pass naturally on their own and feed them to Merlin unless, and it's not necessarily natural, this one died of bloat. I consider it a natural process because it's kind of what happens when you have rabbits. When they're weaning stage, you will inevitably lose a couple. Um, I have a kit that died of bloat and I didn't need it for anything. Um, Merlin had already eaten and I want to take care of it. So I'm going to plant it here. Literally going to plant it. It's going to grow baby bunnies. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so I'm going to dig this hole and I'm going to put a kit that died of bloat in it. And that will help feed these black. Um, black raspberry bushes, black cats. They're my favorite raspberries. Um, and But I'm putting it far enough away to where it's going to gradually feed the soil. These are very new plants and I am putting it about, it's about two feet from either one of the plants. Um, so this should work out pretty well. So I'm going to dig this hole. But first I'm going to pull the bark inside so I'm not mixing that there. Oh, I'm getting a lot of mycelium popping up. I'll show you guys this. We have um, some mycelium running around in the garden, which is exactly what we want. It's been raining a lot here. You can see the bark is actually pretty wet. These are two black cap raspberry plants uh, I put in last year. This one's finally coming back. I was worried this one was dead. Um, it never really took off. Um, and then there's this one. So we'll get these taken care of. I have a lot to do back here along this back fence where I've been kind of throwing some of my compost and materials I'm not sure how I'm going to use. I need to clean up that bed over there. But that's another day. <laughs> got too much to do today. I'm just going to use this little tub to put the dirt in. I don't want dirt right on top of my bark. So... There was a lot of river rock in this bed before. Actually, the entire side of this property, around the whole outside of the lawn originally, was all river rock. So I find a lot all the time. Okay, get some of this lawn fabric out of here, that green mesh that they put on the back of turf. Got like four layers of it over here. How many times they put in one before I got here? And okay. we have got the rabbit, died last night, it's early morning now. Didn't have a way of digging a hole in the middle of the dark, so just did it. Waited till this morning. I'm gonna put it in here. Um, when an animal has bloat or things like that, you can puncture the intestines to make sure it just doesn't kind of expand under the ground first. So I did do that, um, and it just makes sure that a lot of the oxygen has a place to go. So that works out well, and then. I'm just going to take this that I had the rabbit in. I'm going to use that to put any rocks in this that I don't want to keep. You want it to be a decent size hole for the rabbit. The rabbit was, you know, filling this thing up to about here. So I made sure that it was at least three times deeper than this. So um, that way you get enough 
into the ground. You might get a couple, like occasionally some flies near the top of the surface here. Um, when it starts warming up, that's kind of normal. That's actually good for the soil. Um, you're getting a lot of good activity going on in the soil when that happens. I'm not, it's not something I worry about. Um, and this is not a place where I'm actually getting, you know, I'm not burying it underneath something. I'm putting it in a pathway just off to the side of some raspberries. Yes, but it's in a pathway. So it's not like in the middle of my bed to decompose. The only thing I will put in the middle of a bed, like bury it in is I will um, sometimes use hides in the beds and I put them around the plants and it eases us like a mulch layer breaks down really fast, especially when it stays moist. Basically, I want to make sure that I'm just kind of putting most of the same, mostly the same amount of dirt on the hole that I took out. That's one. Okay. down a little not too much but there's a pathway I don't want it to be all uneven and then make sure that mycelium stays over here Just spread it a little bit now if the ground is really dry over here I would water it at this point but it's been raining I'm not So it's as simple as this. Just bury the rabbit. You want a decent sized hole, something a couple of times bigger than the rabbit you're actually uh, burying and the same amount of deep uh, depth. So it helps a lot to kind of know your garden and where you might need that extra nutrient. I know I don't fertilize over this area as much and I know that these were struggling last year. So I'm hoping that by adding this, it will happily feed these plants around here um in this uh, coming fall when the roots actually get to it ah, more lawn backing i hate this stuff anyway so i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i will yak at you later bye